Coffee Smokers, ladies and gentlemen, the Apple 2018 launch event just ended. It was a pretty interesting event. Three new iPhones were launched. We're gonna look at all three of those models, the price points. One of them came in at near $1,500 on the high end, guys. Unbelievable, a price point that's never been touched on an on iPhone or any phone for that matter. So a huge price points on some of these. Um, they do have one model that I think is gonna sell unbelievably well. We're gonna talk about the specs of those. Also, they launched a new Apple Watch series Series 4, we're gonna look at that. I think that's a real interesting product. Uh, so let's just get into this, guys. I'm gonna first start out with here the iPhone XR, okay? We're just gonna look at the price points of all these new products they launch and uh, when they're gonna be available, then we'll go into the specs. This product I start out with first because this is their more affordable iPhone model that I think is actually gonna be the top selling iPhone in their lineup, okay? I think this is gonna be the, the one that sells like crazy. Comes in at $749, you can get it in 64 gigs, 128, or 256 and uh, when, when we'll look at the specs a little later when I look at the specs this phone I see a phone that's gonna sell really really well at that price point okay that one's not uh, available as far as pre-order goes till October 19th it will be available for uh, everybody to buy on October 26th so about about a month later than the highest end iPhone so as far as the the highest end iPhones they came out with they came out with the iPhone 10s okay this one starts at a thousand dollars so the same price point that the uh, original iPhone 10 started at, but it's got better specs across the board. We'll look at that. This one you can get in 64 gigs, 256, or 512 gigabytes of storage. Why you need that much storage in an iPhone is beyond me unless you take an incredible amount of video specifically, because even photos, you could take a ridiculous amount and still not clog up your storage. You would have to take a ridiculous amount of videos. Um, then they also launched an iPhone 10s Max, which is a massive phone, a massive, massive phone as far as the screen size. This is a one that starts at $1,099 starts, okay? This one's available at 64 gigs, 256, and 512. Those phones are available for pre-order on September 14th and are available for people to buy on September 21st. So those ones you can get about a month uh, before you can get the iPhone 10R. So as far as the iPhone lineup is now, you have the iPhone 7 coming in at 449 starting, iPhone 8 starting at 599. They have the iPhone 10R, which which I think is gonna be the top selling iPhone. Starting at 749, they have the iPhone 10s, which starts at 999, and then they have the iPhone 10s Max starting at 1099. And as far as the specs on those, those last two phones, they're pretty much identical, except for the screen is ridiculously massive on the iPhone uh, 10s Max there. Now they launched this new Apple Watch, okay? This is the thing we'll, we'll kind of look at the specs at first. It's called Series 4 Apple Watch. This new Apple Watch has a much larger edge-to-edge -edge screen, giving the, the biggest facelift since the launch in 2014. The screen is 30% larger than the previous version, while the device itself has become thinner, which I think is important. The bigger focus was really on the health side of what this watch can do, okay? The new watch comes with a new sensor that lets you take an ECG, guys, an ECG that measures the heart's rhythm and notifies you if there are defects in the AFib, okay? That is pretty amazing stuff, all right? It is is now able to detect falls and automatically initiate an emergency call as well. Now, if you're a younger person out there and you're, you're hearing that, right? It's like, okay, give me a break. Like, wh what is that important? Well, for people that are really 65 and over, that's actually a very, very valuable thing, okay? Um, for, for people that might fall, you know, if you have uh, grandparents out there or you ever worked in a retirement community, you know when people get older, they fall, they have heart attacks. They, if they can't get to a phone in time, they die, okay? That's the bottom line. If they can't get the, the medical help in time, they end up dying, okay? And maybe much earlier than they should have just because something ended up happening, okay? So that's a really, really interesting thing there, all right? The new watch series four starts at $399 and is available for order starting on Friday. They're also dropping the watch series three price tag to $279. So uh, the watch series four, the interesting thing about that is it's not just aimed at people that love, you know, uh, I guess you say tech and wanna have the latest tech and the new latest Apple products is really going to be aimed at uh, some of the elderly communities and whatnot as far as, you know, uh, the baby boomers that are aging. We know there's a huge population there that's aging and, uh, you know, want to keep track of their health and, and keep track of things like that and, you know, have the emergency services alerted if you fall or something, you know, if you go into a med medical emergency and there's nobody around. Really cool stuff there, guys. So let's get on to these iPhones now, all right? So let's first start off with the highest end iPhones they launched, which is iPhone 10. 
S, okay? If you look, these iPhones have a bigger screen size than the iPhone 8 Plus, okay? Then the amazing thing about the iPhone 10s Max is literally that it's a smaller phone, but with a much, much larger screen size because the bezels are so big on the older iPhones, all right? If we look at the iPhone 10s, it still has a bigger screen size than even an iPhone 8 Plus, right? Just because simply the bezels are so big, but you, you can fit in your pocket much easier, all right? Uh, these phones have an unbelievable new A12 chip, which will likely have the uh, best benchmarks of any uh, phone period out there in the world. Like when this comes out, it's gonna be insane. Um, they're talking about up to 50% faster graphics performance, up to 15% faster performance cores, up to 50% lower power usage in efficiency modes, which is very interesting. Eight core neural engine, enhanced image signal processor, advanced performance controller. Uh, like I said, the, the specs on that, wait till the benchmarks come out. It should blow every other phone um, ever in history away by a long shot of every phone. Um, as far as the cameras go, that's always very important. Both those models of the phone have a dual 12 megapixel camera. Uh, you can look at all the specs there. They can also do 4K video at up to 60 frames per second, all right? And as far as a front-facing camera, we know people love to take selfies. Those That's a, that's a very high-end camera there on the front side. And you can even still do video at 1080p, 60 frames per second, which amazes me. That from I, I, like, I never pictured a front-facing camera being able to do 1080p, 60 frames per second but the time has come guys so that covers the highest end iPhones there now let's get to the one that I think is going to be the really high selling one okay the iPhone 10R which has a 6.1 inch display that's a massive massive display it's the largest LCD ever on an iPhone so the other ones have an OLED display this one has an L LCD it has industry leading color accuracy white color gamut true tone this phone is also a massive phone in terms of screen size look at how much bigger it is in in terms of what you get for screen size versus an iPhone 8 Plus. It's, it's a massive, massive difference there, all right? This one, they claim to have the most durable front glass ever in a smartphone, okay? Precision machined aerospace grade aluminum bands, water and dust resistant, and they have uh, six different finishes for the phone. So it'll be interesting to see how strong that glass really is. I can't wait to see the tests come out on YouTube and see some people doing different tests on this phone uh, a month from now or two months from now, um, because maybe, maybe it's a phone you could literally they have without a case. We have yet to have any smartphone really um, that you know is a popular one at least where you can feel comfortable having it without a case. Okay, uh, right now I have an iPhone 7. I would not feel comfortable having with that without a case. Okay, maybe this could be the first smartphone that you could have without a case and feel comfortable if you dropped it. It's not going to break in half. Okay, uh, the iPhone 10R it has the the A12 chip in it. That's the amazing thing. Okay, so they put the the highest end chip they have into this phone. So, which is another reason I think this one is gonna sell off the off the charts right, right now, because this one's coming in at $749, and you have the fastest chip in this phone. That's that's huge, guys, in a 6.1 inch display. This is gonna be the, the one that sells in a major way, in my opinion, the top selling iPhone. as a 12 megapixel rear, rear camera, so it doesn't have the dual camera setup like the highest end iPhone does, all right? But this one also has a phenomenal front-facing camera with portrait mode, with depth control, and once again, 1080p at 60 frames per second. That just that just amazes me as someone that's a you know started out as a videographer and whatnot. And as far as the iPhone 10s, I just want to show you guys this. If you want the highest end model, so the highest end model, the biggest model that has the most storage, it will come in at a $1,449 price point. There, guys. Oh my goodness. And. Um, you know, I still remember it was like yesterday, people were like, oh, no one's gonna buy a $1,000 smartphone. Now the, the, the highest end smartphones are all starting at 1,000. We see Samsung has slowly started to creep up to that $1,000 number and is right around there. And uh, they'll get, there's gonna be a day when a high end iPhone or high end Samsung, you're gonna be paying $2,000 plus dollars for. If you want the, the highest of the highest end, no different than if you want the highest end MacBook Pro or something like that, you're looking at $2,000 plus dollars. There's gonna come a day when we're gonna be looking at something like that. But in, in terms of what I see over the next year, the iPhone 10 R is going to be the one that, in my opinion, just sells like, like unbelievable, guys. You've got the highest end chip in that for $749, all glass display, 6.1 inch, like, like in my opinion, that one's going to be the one that really uh, sells off the charts. But I want to know your guys' opinion on any of these products down there in that comment section. Do you plan on buying any of these new iPhones or the new Apple Watch? Do you plan on getting them for anybody? I would love to hear from you guys down there in that comment section as always. 
This is Regular Guy Tech. I am Jeremy. Thank you for watching and have a great day.